Two home invasion robberies in different parts of the city, and now investigators want to know if the same robbers are targeting elderly women. One of those robberies happened last night in West Hills. The other was in Los Feliz. Kay Caroline's Cara Finstrom has more on the investigation. It makes me feel very nervous. Annie Siegel and her young family live across the street from this multi-million dollar estate. Last night, police say two men wearing ski masks and pointing guns busted through a back door. Siegel was surprised they targeted the home, which has gates and security cameras. I would be nervous to go into that property and not know my way around it and not know who's inside or if there's dogs. Inside were two women who are seniors. One lives here, the other's a longtime caretaker for the estate. They told police the robbers forced them to open a safe and bound them with zip ties and duct tape. Detectives say the robbers took off with jewelry and cash. <laughs> Neighbors say drivers often use this area as a cut through. Last night, the Goo Goo Dolls were on stage at the nearby Greek, and every neighbor we spoke with said with all the traffic noise, they didn't notice anything unusual. About an hour earlier, a half hour drive away in West Hills, another home was hit. Detectives believe two men also staged that home invasion with one in a ski mask pointing a gun. The woman robbed there was tied up with shoelaces. Detectives say the thieves later tried to use her stolen debit card at a nearby bank. Right now, the LAPD says there's no evidence linking the two home invasions. At the same time, because of the similarities and proximity, detectives will work together as they try to catch all the thieves. A little bit more diligent, um, but uh, overall, I probably won't change my behavior too much. I hope it doesn't happen. We mentioned the security system at the home. Detectives are hoping cameras captured part of the crime. They say they'll be carefully reviewing some footage from the home today. Reporting from Los Feliz, Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News.